Last year when we went into distance learning, it was a really big surprise and we weren't sure how long we were going to be in that space. And a lot of it was about survival mode. The transition happened really quickly and although we felt better prepared than I think some other schools, we still didn't feel as prepared as we wanted to be. And this school year has just been about adaptability, flexibility, and creativity. Our staff has done an amazing job connecting with students and families and making sure that they have what they need during our remote program. But I think that data, that data anywhere and everywhere, oh, you can't beat that. In the car, at the mall, they're able to connect. Um, the Verizon Innovative Learning Schools program has really been the difference for us. It's been kind of the game changer as it relates to um, how our students are staying connected. I've been asked many times, um, are our students falling behind? And I'm like, I, I don't know what they're falling behind, but they have learned an amazing set of skills during this time. We have about 30, 35% or so of our students who are back in person. And then we have about 65% who are still virtual. It really seems pretty seamless so far to have some teachers in the building, some teachers at home, some students in the building, some students at home, and we really have continuity of learning. I get to go in and work with those kids and help them as they're accessing their virtual classes. We're using sort of that cohort model where students are in a classroom with the same group of kids, but they're still logging into their regular Zoom schedule and the adults in the room are helping them with things. We're very big on with our tech team is you know making sure we provide that space for our students to also be teachers, right? And for our teachers to also be learners or students under those circumstances. One of the best parts is that the students have become accustomed now to documenting their work as they go. So for example, in one of my engineering classes, we were building carnival games and engineering and doing all the pieces of that. And from start to finish, we saw it kind of grow from just an idea to written plans. And just seeing that creativity of them now showing what they're doing has been awesome. Um, it's really our school working together toward this instructional goal, the social emotional goal, um, and leveraging the technology that we have to meet that goal. Staying um, active in our community as a school, um, leveraging the technology that we have to stay connected has been a really crucial part of our program this year. We're doing virtual versions or reimagined versions of a lot of the things we used to do. And one of them is our talent show. One of our amazing teachers um, actually collected videos from staff and students of their talent. And my son and I did a cooking video, which again, can't really do in a live talent show. Those are things like when you think about the modification, augmentation, redefinition of teaching, this is redefinition. These are things that we couldn't have done before. You don't have to go back to traditional pencil paper, write out a test. There are so many other ways that students are able to now show their understanding and we need to keep that in mind even if we are seeing them in person. What I am hoping and what I'm looking to do as teachers are coming back, and particularly in the fall, uh, when it looks like all of us will be back, um, is really looking at how we're using that technology. I'm ready for next year. I think kids are really ready for it. So I am so excited to go back to the building and know that the work we put in this year is going to propel us forward.